The song says artsy, but the footage says shameless. I hope you realize it's five minutes before we even get a line of dialogue in this, so there's plenty of time to take a pee break, make some nachos, break out a board game, whatever. So this is Shawnee's friend Debbie. You know Debbie, she's been her BFF all along. Mia expository dialogue, we discover a few things about Debbie. She's training for the Olympics, her father is tough and disapproves of her boyfriend Zach, and she's having a secret beach party, which Shawnee and Eddie are not invited to. I think we know the reason for that. Eddie loves Donut! Speaking of Eddie, he's got some lifeguard stuff to do. Eat my seawater, dweeb! What the hell was he doing out there without a life vest? If he were wearing a life vest, he wouldn't have smashed into those rocks! Anyway, this rescue is a springboard for more important plot elements, because rescue's got nothing to do with lifeguarding. The two guys involved happen to be brothers, which makes Eddie suddenly remember that he has a half-brother named Bobby. Ew, I ate ice cream too fast, got a brain freeze, and fell underneath a lawnmower! Don't worry, Eddie, I'll always take care of you, just like you take care of our sister. Where is she, by the way? Turns out, Eddie's brother is mentally unbalanced. Well, if there's anything Baywatch has proven, it's that it knows how to tackle tough issues. And if they can't handle schizophrenia, I don't know who can. I mean, we did have Craig through all of season one, so it's not like this show is a stranger to mental health issues. Just to prove I'm not a butt all of the time, I'll give Billy Warlock some props for his acting in this scene. It's not too over the top, but it's just enough to make you feel for him. And this scene is one of the few examples where Eddie isn't just playing his foster care card to whine about something petty. Meanwhile, Domino's Pizza Party! Yeah? That shark was not apparently in the mood for dominoes. We didn't try very hard. I called her name and swam away. What else could I do? Oblivious that her BFF Debbie has become shark bait, Shawnee joins Eddie to go visit Bobby. He's been put on a new medication, and one of his caretakers suggests Eddie take him for the weekend. As he can pick him up like a small child, Eddie feels right at home with him. I just want a parental figure in my life! <coughs> when they return to Baywatch HQ, Shawnee doesn't know what horrors await. Hello, I'm obnoxious. No! Rose montage! Things are going perfectly. Looks like Bobby's here to stay. <laughs> well, I am your brother. Nothing will ever change that. But she used to need me. I was your I big brother you. now. I will always need you. No, yes. because Jack and the Beanstalk might eat Peter Rabbit before the kidney beans open up. Um... Watching the door, you slam so hard, you broke the windows. Well, you seem like you should be left unsupervised. See ya! Okay! Okay, you guys were just asking for this to happen. Shouldn't a real lifeguard be watching the tower anyway? He's only six years old, he's got uh, dark brown hair, he's wearing a, a yellow t-shirt. Not to worry, I'll fix this! It's Eddie. Christ. Not again! I'm gonna be relegated to phone duty for this one, and then I'll completely disappear like Sid! Meanwhile, Shawnee's found out her friend is probably dead and goes with Harvey to try and find the body. This proves to be very economical for the show because they can use clips of Jill dying to pad out the runtime and simultaneously give the audience a good laugh. Plot twist! Debbie faked her death in order to run away with her boyfriend Zach to like, I don't know, the same beach where I'm sure she'd never be discovered. Sorry, Shawnee. Court had a friend who faked his death for selfish reasons first. Looks like you came in second again. Daddy? Oh my god. <laughs> I never realized how much you look like Tori from Saved by the Bell. Meanwhile, this is still going on. I think my favorite part about it is how comically tiny Eddie's jacket is on him. Pretty sure he borrowed that from Baywatch Ken. 
Why does Eddie call backup when he sees him? Does he know something the audience doesn't? Ah, oh, well, there you go. Looks like Hobie isn't the only one who's psychic. Looks like you almost drowned another sibling, Eddie. You should have. <laughs> See you, Eddie. Bye. Well, we can just forget he ever existed. See you later, Bobby. Next time on Baywatch, two burglars hide their stolen jewels under a tower. Meanwhile, Eddie is jealous of another weenie who wants to steal Shawnee away. The stakes have never been lower.